we plan to attend a Motekun public hearing on Monday, says Miyeti Allah. Some of the security vehicles provided by Southwest State for the Western Nigeria Security Network Operation Amotekun. Ahead of the public hearing on the Amotekun B, slated for Monday across all states in the Southwest, state chapters of the Miyeti Allah Katu Breeders Association of Nigeria, an umbrella body for Hesme in the country, have expressed their readiness to attend the hearing. They said it would be an avenue to make their positions known on the issue. The association had expressed its reservations over the setting up of the Western Nigeria Security Network, codenamed Operation Amotekun, claiming that the initiative was aimed at flushing out the Fulani tribe from the Southwest. But the Southwest Governors Forum had, in its reaction, dismissed the claim as misplaced and unnecessary. In the Southwest and some other regions, there had been clashes between headers and farmers, while some headers had also been accused of killing and kidnapping innocent villagers. In their response to the rising killings and kidnappings by criminals and some persons alleged to be headers, the governors of the six states of the region had launched Operation Amotekun on January 9, 2020, to provide security for the people in the region. The Attorney General of the six states in the southwest had approved a draft bill for the establishment of Amotekun, noting that each state would enact its own law and establish its own operatives to be known as Amotekun Corps. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, had also said at the Southwest Security Meeting on Community Policing, convened at its instance about a week ago that Amotekun would no longer be a regional operation but state-based. After passing first and second readings in most of the state houses of assembly, the public hearing is scheduled to hold on Monday. In an interview with one of our correspondents on Friday, the chairman of Mieti Hala in Ogun State, Abdul Mumin Ibrahim, said he would be at the public hearing to share his thoughts on the bill. He, however, suggested that the membership of Amosekun Corps should not be for Yorubas alone, adding that since the initiative would address the farmers' elders' clashes, their members should be considered. He said, I will be at the public hearing on Monday because I wish to share my thoughts. We want it to be all-inclusive. We don't want it to be like Odudua People's Congress, where only a tribe is in charge. When we wanted to join OPC, we were told that it was meant for only one tribe. If it is in the interest of peace, all the tribes must be involved. We will appreciate if our members are incorporated into Amotekun as corps. Also, the Ondo State Chapter of Mieti Hala has said its members will attend the public hearing. The State Chairman Halaji Garuba Belu told one of our correspondents on Friday, saying whatever the government wants us to do, we will do. We will go there for the public hearing and present our position too. We are with the government. In Ogun State, the chairman of Fulani Association in the state, Alaji Oluwatayo Sulaimon, said the group would meet on Sunday to take a position before attending the public hearing. He said, I have an invite for the hearing. We are going to meet on Sundays and take a position. We will attend and make our position known there. In Oyo State, the organizing secretary of the association, Adamu Abdukadri, also said they would attend the public hearing, adding that they had maintained a good relationship with the government over the years. He added, we comply with government directives and we maintain mutual relationships with other groups within the state. They attend our meetings and we attend their meetings too. Our message to the public is that in your state, the challenges of security are for all of us to address. We should jointly work for peace and security. If we don't work to, towards that, we won't be upholding the dictates of the constitution. Meanwhile, one of the umbrella bodies for SME in the country, Mieti Ala Kato Hore, has said it will not hesitate to go to court if any provision in the bill violates the rights of its members. In an interview with Saturday Punch on Thursday night, the National Secretary, Mieti Ala Kato Hore, Saleh Hassan, said headers would have no problem with the bid as long as it doesn't infringe on their rights. Hassan said, as stakeholders, we have expressed our reservations and fears because if we are not able to do that, 
then we are not operating a democracy. We should not allow the proliferation of militia groups, whether in the name of vigilance groups or not. Because if you add source security to non-state actors, at the end of the day, the country could be in serious crisis. We could wait to see the nature of the bee when it's passed. However, it infringes on our fundamental human rights, such as freedom of movement or economic pursuit. We will approach both local and international courts, but as long as the bee doesn't affect us, we won't have any problem with it. We also have the option of creating our own organization to protect the interests of our people. Hmm. So guys, uh, you know, these guys, uh, they are not really, they are not taking it lightly. They are not really taking it lightly. Let them go there. They will make their uh, opinion known. But this issue or being adamant that their people must be recruited into the Amosekun Corps, <laughs> that is what I don't really understand. And again, if you don't have a skeleton in your cupboard, why would you be afraid? If the whole thing is to, 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 to get rid of those who are committing crimes, which we have been talking about, for a very long time. Why would you be afraid? Why would you be battled? And I think the most important thing here now is that they don't want a situation and that is why they really want to go there because that movement of moving cars from places to places, they don't want to abide to that. They, they, they don't, don't want to be law abiding. They don't want, they want to be moving their cattle and their whatever, their cows around people's farm, which I believe should not be allowed. Should not be allowed because that is what is causing the problem. They cannot, they don't want to have a ranch, they don't want to have a settled place where they will be having, they will be doing their, uh, their business as they, they call it. You cannot be infringing on other people's rights because you going to, to all those places. And meanwhile, these guys have not really come out. If really, they are really sincere with themselves, the, with the cry of farmers here and there, why have they not taken decisive action? Why have they not called their people to order that whosoever that is doing all this, uh, committing these atrocities in the name of the association, we know will be dealt with? Why have they not made such statements? No, they will not do that. Well, let us see whether the Southwest uh, governors they will fall in for this. They are cheap blackmail. One, they want their people to be recruited, you know, into the Amotekun, uh, what have you. And secondly, they don't want. To be restricted they just want to be moving which is not possible and it's a good thing that one of them is saying they will they will adopt a both local and international whatever to challenge it if it's going to infringe on their rights of course whether internationally that is the way they do they they go about a uh, uh this uh, their nomadic uh, uh, way of life that you are infringing on others this thing but let us see what will happen because this audacity is just becoming something else in my opinion if the southwest people will fall for that you know good luck to them but these guys they are not nice from their statement you know that they mean business and just like uh, they have been saying that if uh, whatever whatever they are going to create their own this thing then if you create it then you have to move out from that state because whatever you are going to create you you because this amoteku is for is for the people in the south southwest so if you want to create it, because definitely we all know that you are not from that area. If you cannot abide with what is happening, uh, what is a <laughs> what the state or what is uh, the the region wants, that means you have to leave. Let us see if at all they want to go in that line. They want to create their own this thing, and whether it will not be passed, whether it will pass in each of those states they are they are they are they are making much to, or they want to go at that federal level then let us know what will happen. If you are not a thief, if you are not a criminal, why would you be afraid? Why, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Hmm. Someone says, Fulani, you are free to set up your own security in your own town. Yes, not in another people's town or state. Where do you people come from? Go there and set up your own security. No problem. And that is the simple truth. Don't attend. You are not officially invited. BAC Allah is not invited. Any attempt to attend a Moteko meeting may send signal to Ogun State uh, strike. May okay, may Ogun strike you. <laughs> I beg, Mr. Fulani, it will never happen for other tribe in your Yoruba security outfit. That's plan to know our secrets. Hmm. Don't allow any other tribe. I could trust. Uh, array on Oka Kanfu, it will never take that from anybody. How can you say you want to be there? Who gave you permission? What what F country to be the, you want to dictate? If that place not contain you, you go back to your area. That is it. You go back to your area. 
Are there Yoruba groups in the northern, in the north, brazenly confronting any stage or state governments in their decisions? These illiterate need to be placed where they belong. Exactly. Your presence is not needed. Of a truth, the southwest people have never a time shown hegemony over others. But the northerners often do this at random up to now. The southwest security network is to guide against killing and maiming within their regions as its constitution constitutional in the north. So it is in other parts of Nigeria to have their own security outfit. So that their people so that their people are not uh, uh their people's lives are not being taken. But as a matter of fact, who we eat when the consumers are all dead? And someone is asking a question, what has Fulani got to do with the security outfits of Southwest when they are the major threat to peace in all over nation, over the nation? Who licensed Fulani has yet they kill without anyone questioning them? What happened in Central Africa is about to happen in Nigeria. How many Yoruba Christians and Muslims are members of any security outfit in the north uh, part of the country? Yoruba are not full to accommodate Fulani to be part of their security outfit. Fulani cannot they take to Yoruba how to protect their people. If their hands and hearts are clean and they don't have hidden agenda, why are they afraid? Well, it's true, why are they afraid? Those are the questions I've really put up in the first place. Well, like I said, let us see whether they start to waste, whether they, they, they will agree for them, whether they will, they will agree with them and allow them to have their way. But uh, I, strongly, I strongly doubt if they will allow that. Say all of them, they've really they've had meetings, they want to be there, they want to go and make their position known, but already they have their own mindset that if it is going to affect them by not moving around the states or moving from places to places, that they are gonna they are gonna resist it. Or better still, they recruit their members. They are still they are still bent on recruiting their members into Amotekun. Let's see what will happen. So uh, Monday is very close here. So, guys, let's hear your opinion concerning. All these things that these people are vomiting. Leave your comment below and let's have your take. Thank you very much. Bye.